The Sock Thief, written by Anna Crespo and pictures by Nana Gonzalez. In a small Brazilian town, Felipe leaves home earlier than usual. He walks a long way to school. Still sleepy, he stops by his family's mango tree. He picks the pinkest mangoes he sees. The sweet fruit wakes him up. Felipe has a secret. Once a week, he needs socks. He would use his own socks if he had any, but he doesn't. Why own socks if the only shoes he owns is a pair of worn-out flip-flops? Felipe sees a pair of socks on the windowsill of an old house. He seizes the socks and leaves a mango on the front steps. and he wakes up a dog. The dog woofs in Portuguese. Felipe runs away as fast as he can. Panting, Felipe stops running, pulls an old newspaper from his bag, and starts working. He stuffs, he twists, he tightens. He stuffs, twists, and tightens again. Soon Felipe is searching for more socks. There's a pair hanging from the clothesline. He snatches the socks and leaves the mango. Then a rooster threatens to tell his secret to the entire neighborhood. It screams in Portuguese. Again, Felipe is on the run. He stops only when the rooster is far behind him and the corico is just a whisper. He stuffs, twists, and tightens once, then twice, three times, four times. As Felipe gets closer to his school, he is not sure he will get all the socks he needs. But just when he thinks there are no more socks to be found, Felipe spies some. This pair of very large socks rests on a fence next to a parrot. Felipe swipes the socks and leaves a mango. He is safe until a loud voice behind him says, Obrigado, obrigado, obrigado. The parrot is thanking him very loudly in Portuguese, and once again, Felipe runs away. Felipe stuffs, twists, and tightens once and twice. He gives it a few stitches. Finally, he is ready for school. At the sight of Felipe, his friends run to him and ask, Did you bring the soccer ball? Here it is, Felipe answers. They play soccer before school. They play soccer during recess. They play soccer after school. The newspaper stuffed soccer ball survives the muddy field and every hard hit. It survives defense, disputes, and goals. It even survives the puppy that wants to play too. After school, on his long journey back home, Felipe returns each pair of socks. Next to them, he leaves a note. Obrigado pelas meias. Thank you for the socks. He hopes the owners of the socks don't mind that he borrowed them for the day. But what Felipe doesn't realize is that everyone knows his secret, and everyone is happy to help and eat the mangoes. Thank you.